I would like uh, to give the floor uh, to Professor uh, Pramesh, and at the end, I think we will have a little bit of discussion. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's indeed an honor and a pleasure to be part of this remarkable event organized by Onco Daily, and I must thank uh, Professor Tamamian and Sushan for this invitation to be part of this uh, remarkable event. Uh, to do something, as uh, Ms. Gunther said, for 24 hours uh, is, is something that takes a lot of effort, and I'm very, very happy to be uh, part of this. Uh, today, as all of you know, is International Childhood Cancer Day, and I don't think there can be a better uh, occasion to highlight the importance of what we do as oncologists especially in the treatment of children, uh, thousands of whom are diagnosed every year in all parts of the world. While these tumors might be rare, childhood cancers are possibly a small proportion of overall cancers that we see. I feel that this is these are very, very important areas for us to work on. And they are important for my... is so much better than uh, the other types of cancers that we see. And it is uh, tragic that there is so much of variability in the results that we see in different parts of the world. The second reason why it's important is that once these children are cured of their disease, they have practically a normal lifespan with a very long life ahead and their contributions to society can never be underestimated. The economic argument for prioritizing the management of children with cancer is something that is a very, very strong argument because they contribute back to society for decades uh, together and, and they lead very meaningful lives. The sobering statistic that we deal with when it comes to uh, the outcomes of children with cancer are that in some of the best centers in the world, we approach uh, long-term survival results in the range of 80 to 90 percent. However, we also have the harsh reality that in some countries which are in low and low and middle income countries, the outcomes are as low as 20 to 25 percent long-term survival. In my mind, this kind of disparity is unconscionable and we truly have blood on our hands if we are not able to narrow this gap between the high income countries and the low and low and middle income countries, especially when it comes to the management of childhood cancers. Our own hospital had a very similar problem uh, a couple of decades back. And when we did uh, an audit of all children with cancer who visited our hospital uh, in 2005, what we realized was that there was a 30 percent dropout in, in children who came to our hospital for treatment. So we started a foundation called the Impact Foundation, which was focused on enabling children with cancer to complete treatment. And we adopted various mechanisms for doing this. It would be very naive to think that just by finding funds for cancer care, we would sort out these problems. Many of our children came from distances which are very long away from our own center. And the challenges of living in a city like Mumbai, which is very expensive, by way of accommodation, travel, were also barriers which stood in the way of their completing their care. We also realized that just accommodation, travel, and funding was not enough. We also needed to look at other areas of uh, overall health, like nutrition. We needed to make sure that while these children were part of their treatment in Mumbai, we needed to take care of their education. And given the fact that once they complete the treatment, they lead long lives. We had to make sure that their rehabilitation after treatment, skilling of those who would uh, want to get jobs after they become adults, as well as their long-term education was also important. So we instituted a number of measures through the Impact Foundation. And today, the 30% dropout rate, which we had just less than two decades ago, has come down to 2.5% dropout, which means that our ability to treat these children with cancer and get outcomes which are similar to what are seen in other high income countries improves remarkably. There are several international organizations which have taken on the challenge of uh, childhood cancer management. And I must single out the 
global childhood cancer initiative which is run by the world health organization with substantial and very generous funding from the st jude children hospital in memphis and i must salute the leaders of these organizations for starting what is a very ambitious program which aims to work towards cure for every child with cancer and to ensure that no child with cancer anywhere in the world suffers because of lack of funds or lack of resources finally i think as a society as civil society as oncologists as physicians we need to prioritize childhood cancer management and childhood cancer control over many other aspects that we currently prioritize and i must use this opportunity to urge all of you who are in this call whether you are part of your youtube channel or any of the other social media that you are part of this uh, program to support the cause of childhood cancer in armenia in other parts of the world so that no child with cancer suffers from a lack of resources while funds are extremely important volunteering is another way that you could actually contribute towards this cause but for those of you who don't have the time to volunteer in these uh, organizations i would urge you to open up your hearts open up your wallets and ensure that you support your nearest childhood cancer center to enable them and to empower them to provide what is the best quality care for these innocent children with cancer once again thank you very much for inviting me to be part of this remarkable event and i'm very very happy to be part of this thank you